This is going to be a long video, so let me just explain. I had pneumonia. I got better. Now let's do this. I love sports. I might know sp more about sports than I do movies, believe it or not. And the one team that I cherish more than any other team in the world is the Michigan Wolverines. And especially Michigan football. And I'm going to give you my predictions on the upcoming season. Michigan opens this Saturday at 3.30 on ABC against the Yukon Huskies. UConn was 61st overall in the pass last year, but 39th in rushing yards, averaging 171 a game. They have two very solid running backs. This was a bowl team last year. They finished 8-5, and five, won the PapaJohns.com Bowl against South Carolina 21-7. This is no walk in the park. This is no Western Michigan. This is a tough team. This, this is much closer to the Utah matchup of two years ago. Very tough possible even BCS team. I, Kirk Kerb Street predicted them to win the Big East. I really am afraid about this game. I think that Michigan will start off sluggish, but I think that they're going to find a way to come back. I think that Denard Robinson will start at quarterback. Now, my prediction is that they will get off to a rough start, and whether he keeps them in or not, I don't know. But Michigan will score points. It's going to come down to their defense. I think that it's an advantage that for Michigan here and the fact that UConn is a solid running team and not a great passing team. Because Michigan's offensive line and linebackers are not that bad. Sure, they did lose Brandon Graham, who was an absolute stud to the NFL, but it's their secondary that's going to kill them. They lost Donovan Warren, who went pro, didn't even get drafted. Troy Wilfolk, who was their starting corner, broke his ankle. He's out for the season. A lot of question marks there. I think that UConn will be running the ball a lot. I think that Michigan will find a way to hold them. I like Michigan in this game in overtime, 33-30. to Next game is Notre Dame. Now, Notre Dame was 6-6 six and six last year. This game is not about the offense. It's not about the defense. It's about the way Michigan starts. Look at the last couple seasons between Notre Dame and Michigan. Last year, Michigan got out to a 14-3 lead. Went back and forth, but they did end up winning game that I was at. The year before that, Notre Dame got out to a 21-0 lead in the first 10 minutes of the game. Michigan couldn't recover. They lost by 18. The year before that, in 2007, Michigan got up to a 21-0 lead in the first half. Ball game. And, of course, the year before that, Michigan got out to an early 28-7 lead. Notre Dame couldn't hold. I think that Michigan, once again, will start out sluggish in this game. They... They have to avoid turnovers if they want to win. That's what killed them two years ago against Notre Dame. Seven fumbles, five of them for turnovers, I believe. I think that this is a better team, obviously, than the 08 team, but I think that Michigan is going to have a tough time getting it into the end zone. Notre Dame's got going to win this one 27-23. Next game for Michigan is at home against UMass. UMass will be a win. I really can't say much more than that. It's UMass. I know we lost to App State, but that was one in a million. I don't see us losing this. Michigan wins it 31-7. to Next game is against Bowling Green. Bowling Green was a bowl team last year. They played in probably what was the best bowl game. This, uh, this next game is a huge game for Michigan. And this game worries me. This game is, this game is against Indiana. Last year, we barely beat Indiana. It was a last-minute touchdown by Martavius Odoms that saved it, and a controversial interception by Donovan Warren that ended up getting us the win. Indiana, I think, is a sleeper team for this year. They were 35th in the league in passing. They returned two top receivers from the Big Ten. I think Michigan wins this, but I think that it'll be very, very close. I think a last-second field goal... Or something akin to that. This is an Indiana team that I think could surprise a lot of people. I do like Michigan, but barely. Next game against Michigan State. We have lost. Michigan has lost to Michigan State twice in a row. First time that has happened since before Bo Schembechler even coached at Michigan. So, what do I think? My heart wants to say that Michigan will win this game. Because I care more about the Michigan-Michigan State rivalry than the Michigan-Ohio State rivalry. Because, well, I go to school with mostly MSU fans. 
and it means a lot to me to throttle. But Michigan State's passing offense was 28th in, in the country last year. They're, they're going to be even better this year. They return Kirk Cousins, who's a great quarterback, and Michigan's secondary is downright terrible. I think MSU will run up the field with these guys. Michigan will make it a close game with their offense, but I think MSU wins this game 30-28. to It pains me to say that, lose to MSU three years in a row, but I just, with the secondary we have, I don't see us winning. Next game against number nine ranked Iowa. Iowa was a BCS team last year. They were 11-2, and and they return many of their players. Before this game, Iowa plays Penn State in a night game, and after Michigan, they play against Wisconsin. There's a possibility of a letdown, but I think Kurt Ferentz is too good of a coach. I, I like Iowa in this game. I like Iowa in a handy defeat. I would say 30-10 to 10 at home. Next, we go to Penn State at an 8 o'clock game in Happy Valley. One of the top five toughest places to play. And for a sophomore quarterback, which is most likely what we're going to have, playing in Penn State for the first time, it's going to be tough. I don't see Michigan coming out of here. I think that Penn State will struggle a little bit this year. And I think that this, there's a chance that Michigan will hang around for probably the first three quarters. But I think Penn State pulls away and wins it 28-17. to 17. Next game, we finally get a bit of a break here against Illinois. Now this, the Illinois game, will be a victory. No doubt in my mind, Michigan will blow Illinois out after two tough losses. I'd say 45-14. to 14. I really think that Michigan's just going to blow Illinois out of the water. Next is what I believe will be probably the biggest game of the season. And the game that might very well save Rich Rodriguez from being fired. Michigan goes at Purdue. I like the fact that we get Purdue late. I think if we got them earlier in the season, it'd be a little bit different. But I think by this time, our secondary will be a little bit better. And I think this will be a shootout. It'll be a high-scoring game because Purdue was not great. They, Purdue was a solid offensive team last year. But there was, Purdue was 89th overall in points allowed last year. And they don't return that many players. I think Michigan wins this one. Somehow, some way in a shootout, 41 to 38, becoming bowl eligible. Then we play at home against Wisconsin. There is a chance that we could play BCS Buster, but I don't see it happening. Michigan loses 31 to 14. Next week, the final game, the game against Ohio State. Now, I believe that Ohio State will be undefeated going into this game. And nothing would please me more than to go into the horseshoe and beat Ohio State in the last game of the season. Absolutely no way that's going to happen. Had, had this have been a John Cooper coach team, I think it might have been a little bit different. But Jim Trestle is too good of a coach to lose an undefeated season with an 11-0 record, especially against Michigan. Ohio State wins this one big. I 35-7, to another Huge loss to Ohio State. I'm really not sure how that turns out as far as the bowl game goes. But as of now, Michigan is 6-6. Six and six. And it pains me, pains me to the core to say that 6-6 six and six would be a mildly successful season. If we lose the bowl game, I think that we should fire Rodriguez. Because I'm three losing seasons in a row. One losing season is bad enough. Six and six for Michigan. And I do believe that when this season is over, we will have a new football coach. Do I hope so? No. I hope we go ten and two and go to the Rose Bowl. But do I think so? Yeah, probably. Now I hope I'm wrong about all this. I really do. Nothing would please me more than to see the Michigan Wolverines go out and and be a great team once more. But I just don't see it happening. But my final word... I think. Let's go, Blue!